morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I wanted to do today was I wanted to make a couple of announcements and I wanted to present a couple things to you. The announcement is that we now at the Pathfinder School and Self Reliance Outfitters have our own knife brand and knife company called the Pathfinder Knife Shop. We have been working for almost a year building a process to create repeatability and reproducibility in making knives to make them the best quality piece of gear that we could possibly make. We have actually sent our people to train with folks like Jeff White to learn to make knives. And the one thing that my father brought to my attention when I was getting ready to shoot this video was that from everyone he talks to in the knife industry, and again, there's lots and lots of people out there that make knives, but no one can keep up. So there is enough business out there for all the knife makers and then some probably. So we're not trying to squeeze anybody out of any business by making our own knives. What we are trying to do is create another availability stream of blades and also to take personal control of the process and the quality of the knives that we sell. And to that end, we have over the last year built a knife shop, purchased equipment, looked at the process, done all of the failure modes and effects analysis, and treated this very much like an engineering type process. And I think if you were to ask me what sets us apart from other knife companies, you know, a knife is a knife in a lot of cases if it's made in the U.S. by a reputable maker. And I think what sets us apart a little bit from other processes is that we approached it from an engineering standpoint not necessarily a knife making standpoint. So we looked at all of the inputs and all the variability within the inputs that affect the quality of the end product, which is what our trade is. My father and I are both quality engineers by trade. So we're, we understand process capability. We understand input variables and variation within a process that changes the output and may not give you the exact same thing at the end of every process. So we have controlled that and dialed that in per se to make sure that the knives we're creating now are pretty much the same at the other end of the process. Now obviously if you custom grind a handle, it's not going to be exactly the same every time. Even if you're using a jigging process to make sure you have a 22 degree Scandinavian grind, 11 degrees on each side, it's still put in a jig and hand held as it's ground. So they're not going to be exactly the same. But a lot of the things that are failure modes within a knife making process can be controlled. And one of those things is the hardness of that blade. All of our blades are checked ultrasonically at the end of our process to ensure that the blade is 50 plus on the Rockwell scale throughout the blade and all of our blades are going to be guaranteed for life. And I think that's an important part of taking ownership of your quality is to guarantee it for life. So let's talk a little bit more about the specs of the two knives that we're going to be introducing, when they're going to come out, how much they're going to cost, and what they're going to come with. Stay with me. Okay, the first knife that we'll be introducing for sale will be a classic Kephart design with walnut scales. Again, every knife that we're making is 1095 high carbon steel. The Rockwell is 50 plus throughout the blade. The specs on this particular knife, and I wanted to get a ruler out here for you guys so you can see. This Kephart knife has a blade that's about four and a quarter inches long and the knife is about nine inches overall. The handle thickness is just under one inch. The blade thickness is an eighth of an inch. The blade width is about an inch and a quarter at its widest point. It has a 22 degree Scandinavian grind. It has a 90 degree spine. Okay, so 
let's talk about functionality real quick when it comes to knives in general. There are several things that I want from a knife as just a standard that I want with any knife I'm going to carry if I can possibly get it. Obviously full tang is one of the things that I would really like to have because it's going to give that knife much better longevity. There's plenty of knives out there that are not full tang that are good knives, but a full tang knife is going to have better longevity than a non-full tang knife. That's just simple. So I like that feature of any knife that I'm going to carry on my belt or on my hip. A sharp blade is a must. If it can't do fine carving work, then it's really not worth having. And any knife worth its salt is going to be able to do fine carving work. I also would like that knife to have a good 90 degree spine on it so that it can strike a ferrocerium rod in fairly good order. And I want it to be able to take enough material off of this rod to give me sparks that will burn after the fact because those are going to be the sparks that will light marginal type tenders. If it's got that good 90 degree spine on it, it can also be used as a cabinet scraper for processing finer tenders and materials like this. And the last thing I like is, I like that hardness factor in the blade so that it's capable of being used as a fire steel. It has to be able to throw sparks off the blade. Okay? I want something that when I strike it, sparks are coming off of there. And this is just a piece of quartz right off the ground. All right, so the knives that we're making at the Pathfinder Knife Shop will all be 50 plus in hardness. They'll all have a 90 degree spine. And they will all be full tang. And they'll come razor sharp right out of the shop. Right now we're using an 11 degree on both sides or 22 degree Scandinavian grind. The sheath that comes with the cut part knife is a Samson leather handmade in the USA right there in Indianapolis, Indiana as well sheath that comes with this knife and it's just a standard style leather sheath and the price of this knife as you see it here with the sheath is $139.95 guaranteed for life. Okay the second knife that we're going to be introducing this weekend will be called the Scorpion. It has a black and red micarta handle and the steel is blued on this blade. The steel is blued. It's not coated. It's blued. It's a very bushcraft style profile of the blade in that it has that nice carving feel to it 
of a bushcrafting knife. It has about a four and a quarter inch blade, nine inches overall, very similar in size to the Kephart, just a different blade profile and handle design depending on your preference. All of the other specs are the same. It's 1 8 inch, 1095 high carbon steel. The Rockwell is 50 plus throughout the blade. It's full tang, 90 degree spine, guaranteed for life, made in the USA, right in Indianapolis at the Pathfinder Knife Shop. I've been carrying this knife for a while and you can see it's got some abuse to it and it, I have to tell you that this is one of the most comfortable and most favorite knives I've ever worked with. It's got that Scandinavian type bushcraft, woodcraft type feel to it. Now this knife is going to come with several options for sheathing. It will come with an option for leather sheath, it comes option for kydex sheath. But the base price of this knife without a sheath is $99.95. $99.95. Okay, so again, you know, this knife will be capable of doing fine carving. It's going to be very good at striking a ferrocerium rod. Good at processing material. And also work with a piece of flint as a fire steel. So all of these knives are going to function the same. Characteristically, they're going to be the same other than profile. It's just a matter of what you like and what design you like. And we're trying to stay, like I said, with traditional designs for a reason. They work. So we have the Kephart and the Scorpion. Both of these knives will release this weekend on Saturday in limited quantities. They'll be available at selfrelianceoutfitters.com at our normal store location for retail as well. There will be limited quantities of these available starting Saturday evening, but we will continue to manufacture these knives and try to keep up with the demand as best we can. However, we do not take pre-orders or back orders. So if we do not have it in stock, you will not be able to buy it. We don't want to take your money without being able to send your knife out the next day. Okay guys, so just to reiterate a couple things and not to beat the dead horse, but a lot of times I get questions even after I do say it once or twice in the video, people still ask the question. So I wanna make sure we're clear. Pathfinder Scorpion, $99.95 without a sheath, guaranteed for life. Made in the USA, 1095, eighth inch high carbon, Scandinavian grind to 22 degrees, 11 degrees on each side. It's just a good all-around bushcraft knife, in my opinion. I love mine. Classic Kephart design. Eighth inch, 1095, high carbon, full tang, 11 degrees, 22 degrees Scandinavian grind, 90 degree spine, exactly like the Scorpion. Comes in a brown leather sheath, made in the USA as well, 139.95. Both of these knives will be available, again, in limited quantities starting on Saturday. You'll just have to go back and check our site for when they become available, but I would imagine it will be Saturday in the a.m. sometime when this video posts on YouTube. It'll be about the same time. So you can go there and check it out. Again, we'll do the best we can, but like I said, the knife business is not flooded with knives like you would believe it is. Good knife makers out there cannot keep up. The Pathfinder Knife Shop will do the best that we can. We will provide you with a guaranteed, U.S. made, quality product. You have my word on that. I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. 
I thank you for joining me for this video. I thank you for everything that you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.